This was my first experience of a detention centre when I went to Leonora at the start of 2011. Just seeing these prison-like structures in remote locations would have been called mental illness factories and when people are called by a number not by their name is very impacting. Since then I have been involved in filming and documenting the refugee rights campaign over the last few years. Reza Barati, a 23 year old Kurdish man, was murdered on Manus Detention Centre when PNG locals and detention centre staff launched an attack against the asylum seekers there. Since then, asylum seekers on Man Asylum who witnessed Reza Barati's death and have given statements about what happened have been beaten up. No one has yet been convicted for his murder and there is still no justice. Earlier this year, there was one of the largest hunger strikes in recent human history on Man Asylum and asylum seekers there continue to protest. In the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, it is stated that any person has the right to seek refuge by boat, by plane, by any modes of transport. It is legal for a person to seek asylum in Australia. For many people fleeing persecution, this is their only way of escaping. From 2010 to 2013, over 90% of asylum seekers that come to Australia via boat have found to be genuine refugees. The percentage of asylum seekers to the Australian population is 0.2%. Australia ranks 49th in the world on the amount of refugees that it takes in. There are currently over 200 children in detention centres without charge or trial. We need to build a mass movement that can change the current political situation and bring an end to mandatory detention. Over the last several years, people have been engaged in a whole range of actions, from candlelight vigils, to refugee convergences at detention centres, to mass rallies in the cities, to community public meetings, and even works of performing art. Right now, we need to build on this, and we need you to get involved in this campaign. On the 29th of March, it is Palm Sunday, where we will be having a Walk for Justice, a march to support and advocate for the rights of asylum seekers and refugees. Palm Sunday is a Christian commemoration of triumph and peace. These ideas are being implemented in the light of a bigger cause, which is to free the refugees. As the situation of detaining refugees has gotten to such a point, I know that I must take action now. And so this will be my first refugee protest and rally, which I'm very excited for. We can change the narrative from fear and persecution to hope and compassion. To be a part of this and to be a part of this movement and for it to be successful, we need people to stand up and get involved. So join us at Palm Sunday on the 29th of March at 1pm at St George's Cathedral for the Walk of Justice for Refugees Seeking Asylum in Australia.